Go ratings, Poke fans! Michael here, and welcome to the 24th episode of my Pokemon Sun Let's Play walkthrough. I did receive this product free from Nintendo. I do have to disclose that to you in every video. But, moving on, you're probably wondering why there is a sand castle and a large bubble spider in my party. Well, I can explain. So, last episode, you may remember, I had a very challenging battle against how his Alolan Raichu was far stronger than I was expecting it to be and it was frustrating because um, I didn't really have anything that could handle it um, and I just I wasn't really pleased with my team overall my team was three people that I used regularly uh, Dartrix um, Dartrix, Chargebug, and Lycanroc and then an underleveled Salandit and then Gumshoes who I never used um, you know, I love him because he's shiny, but he was just so, so depressingly weak. Um, and then, um, a mod champ that I was strong, but I also never used because I wanted to try and use new Pokemon in this. Um, I did use him for the rock type Kahuna, but that was about it. So, after talking with Julie, I was like, you know what, I need, I'm going to fix my team before I move on. So that's what I did. I, first off, I leveled up Melody to be one level away from evolving. Um, because I want to make sure I caught that on camera. Uh, these two are now 35. Sammy is also one level away from evolving. And I added these two new members to the team. I added the Mountain, uh, the Sandy Gast, um, which is a... I love the name. I just thought of it, and I think it's perfect. Um, somewhat of a reference to Game of Thrones, but also, also a reference to, like, making mountains out of molehills, because he's just, like, a little hill, and he's the Mountain. And it's fun when he gets hit by a normal type of tag, because it's just like, it didn't affect the mountain. Um, so I like that a lot. And then, um, he's incredibly slow, so he has a quick claw. And then, Xena, the Araquanid, Araquanid, the Araquanid, that sounds better. Uh, water bug, quite strong, pretty slow, but quite strong. Um, taught her leech life, which was boost, like, buffed like crazy this generation. And Scald uh, hasn't learned a physical water type move yet, but Scald will suffice until it does. Um, and I caught her in the garden, actually. Um, I didn't film it, so I'm sorry that I didn't film it, but it was just kind of like, oh, Jubilee told me that these are in there. I want one. I'm going to go catch it. And then I found one and I caught it, and then I wanted to level it up. So, <laughs> you know, I didn't want to have to film the leveling up process. Um, and so that's why I didn't film the catching. So I'm sorry if you wanted to see that. Um, but anyways, this is now the team. Uh, I do know that there are two ghost types. Okay, once Sammy evolves, which is I'm going to do right after I finish talking about this. Once Sammy evolves and becomes grass ghost type, you're going to have two ghost types and two bug types on the team. But even so, um, I looked through it and stuff. Only... There are only two types that half the team is weak to, and that's water type and rock type. Every other type is only good against two or fewer members. Um, I still want to have an Alolan Ninetales on the team, so I'm not really sure how I'm going to handle that, but I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. So for now, I am going to evolve Sammy and Salandit. Sammy and uh, Melody, because... I have a lot of rare candies, and I'm very anxious to do that. <laughs> I also, like, didn't explore the garden at all. I, like, stayed in one little grass patch, so that's the first thing we're going to do once I do this. But for now, it's the item pocket. Why do I always do that? Okay, rare candies. I have five. And here we go. Finally! I've been wanting this for so long! <laughs> Gotta press A. Decidui! So cool. Probably my favorite Pokemon in this generation. Wait, what's it saying? It looks so awesome. Completed a page. 
It fires arrow quills from its wings with such precision they can pierce a pebble at distances over a hundred yards. That's awesome. Spirit Shackle. Yes. We're gonna get rid of Astonish. 80 power. Awesome. Got a solid ghost move now. Hooray! I'm very happy. And now we're gonna use one on Melody. Another evolution! <laughs> If, if you don't like that I'm using rare candies, I'm sorry. I'm just very impatient. <laughs> Slazzle! So seductive. Does it learn a new move when it evolves? No, it doesn't. Oh, wait, no. It wouldn't do that until after it registers it in the Pokedex. Okay, we gotta see that first. Awesome. At long last, after such a terrible time trying to find a female Salandit and Jubilee just giving me one, for some reason, only females have been found. It creates a reverse, whoa. It creates a reverse harem of male Salandit that it lives with. Playa, playa. <laughs> that's, that's funny. Captivate. What does that even do? I don't think it's very good. No. All right, cool. So now the team's looking pretty solid. The only one, only two left to evolve. Sandy Gast evolves at like 40 or 42, I believe. Uh, Charge Bug evolves at some canyon that's in like the next island. So that's unfortunately still gonna be a while. Um, real quick, I wanna look at my TMs. Oops. By name. He can learn acrobatics now! Oh, hell yes! I'm taking the sharp beak away. Yeah. Because pluck with the, uh... Pluck with the sharp beak goes to 90. Acrobatics without the sharp beak goes to 110. Okay, remind me to take that off of him. It could learn Brick Break? Oh dang, I did not know that. I'm gonna teach him that. That's useful. Stealth Rock. Haven't used it yet. Probably not going to. I love that TMs don't break. I can just go through and just... Give it to everybody. No. No, he's a physical attacker. Um, oh, Sandy Gas can learn Infestation. That's weird. Uh, Leech Life is a good move. Sandy Gas can learn Psychic? Is Sandy Gas... Special attack is slightly higher. Well, okay, cool. I guess that is useful. They're virtually the same, but like, I guess I might as well. Same team. Mm, I feel like I'm not gonna use hypnosis that much, so I'm gonna get rid of hypnosis. All right. Man, Sandy guys can learn several moves. No one can learn smart strike. Already taught it, Venom Shock. Okay, we've gone through the TMs that I want to teach people. So now, let's go walk through this garden and battle things, because I didn't do any of that before. No riding Pokemon is allowed in here, which I think is interesting. I didn't go this way before, so I want to go this way now. Huh, <laughs> that's amusing. Trainer, battle me! Let me guess, he has an Alolan Pokemon that's in its regular, that's in its... A Pokemon that has an Alolan form, but it's not 
the Alolan form. Persian, regular. I was correct! Man, I can't use spirit shackles. Oh well. But you know what I can do? Acrobatics! I mean, I was gonna do that anyway. I also, in the off time, boosted my, uh, boosted some of my affection. So, some of these guys, I think just Sammy and, Ch and, uh, I am going to keep battling so I can use Spirit Shackle. It's risky. Oh, it's a regular one. Duh. Well, I can still use Spirit Shackle, actually. Oh, I forgot to take the Shark Peak off. That's why Acrobatics didn't do that much. I told you to remind me, damn it! I'm just kidding. Wow, this is gonna take a long time. Let's just finish this off. Alright, goes down. Sammy looks so cool. Just like the hood, you can't even see his face. Okay. Held item. Take. Alright. Stupid polywag. I did not like battling against these. They were, like, not easy to knock out with the Pokemon I was training. And they did not give very much experience. Grassy seed? That is not a miracle seed. What does that do? Oh, wait, I'm closer to the bottom than I am to the top. Item be held by a Pokemon. It boosts defense on grassy terrain. Interesting. Seems like a very specific use. Oh, shall we fish? Oh, bummer. Can't surf in this water. No riding Pokemon are allowed other than Charizard to fly out of here. <laughs> also, one thing that I discovered when not... Oh, hey, look, there's another Araquanid. Alright, now let's use Acrobatics. Now that I actually removed the held item. That's it, I knew you could do it. That's that affection boost for you. But as I was saying, another thing I discovered is that the riding Pokemon, you can register to the D-pad. I don't know why I never clicked these buttons before, but like, see, Charizard's now registered to like, my up. So that's pretty cool. Okay, this side was a dead end. All right, I've used Decidueye a bit. Now I wanna use Melody just a little bit. Just to like, put her in battle and stuff. No new exciting moves or anything, but... Battle me! Small child! Today is Pokemon Day? I feel like every day is Pokemon Day. At least on this channel. Preschooler Ailey. Oh, weird name. Oh, perfect, a fairy type. Cool. Let's use Venoshock. Good night, Cletha. Well, she's happy in her loss. That's a good attitude. I feel like if I lost as a preschooler, I would throw a tantrum. Oh, that's cool. That's super cool. I didn't notice that before. I have to go through here. Ugh. Oh, I made it. Cool. Oh, whoa. There's like a mini volcano over there. We have to go check that out. We'll fish once, though. 
Maybe I'll pull up a pearl. Nope. Nobody loves me. Okay, this place was closed last night. No, what is this place? It's like some kind of ice cream shop. Maybe it's only open on like one day of the week. Ooh, rippling water. Man, we're fishing again. Ha ha, money. Big mushroom, more money. No, stop. I no longer want anything that's in this garden. <laughs> I have one. Okay. Rude. Time to run away. Run away. Okay. Let's go check out if we, what's in this volcano. Battle me, though! I should put a Xena or the mountain in. After this battle, I will. More regular form Pokemon. Okay. What should I do? I feel like it's gonna be a two hit KO either way. I'm oh, just flame burst. Or I could just use the flame Z power. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that. Save myself some time. And show it on screen, because I haven't done that yet. <laughs> Inferno Overdrive. Ah! <laughs> Burned the entire garden down. Right, you? I will actually. Because she's going to have a regular form one. Well, actually, the mountain takes care of both because it doesn't have levitate and ghost resists the psychic. He hasn't learned a ghost type move yet, though. Hope he learns one soon. Oh, sweet. Alright, now we'll use sand too. Maybe my quick haul. Let me, let me go first. Ha! It does! You suck, right, you? Hooray! Selfie! Okay, let's keep going. More wild Pokemon. I'm gonna leave Melody in front because the other two cannot run from wild Pokemon to save their life. Oh, okay, that's not a place I can reach. Okay, this is just being like an item or something. Oh, it's a Zygarde. Okay. Makes sense. Okay, well, to save ourselves time. Oh, what am I doing? Wait. Up. And there it goes. We're just gonna fly back to the Pokemon Center. <laughs> How long have I been going? 19 minutes. It's actually more like 18. It took me like a minute to actually start recording. Or actually start speaking. Let's hail everybody up. And let's go take the bus to the top of the mountain. Alright. Who do we want to put in front? We'll put in Xena in front. Xena hasn't battled at all yet. On camera. Alright, let's do this. Hello, Lily. Is that a Zygarde thing behind her? Okay, I gotta make sure I grab that. Michael, would you mind if I asked you something? You wanna go to the ruins? Yes, I want to take Navi to visit Ula Ula Ruins, but they're located deep in a large desert. I don't want to ask that much of you. Right now I'm planning to visit Molly Library. There's a book that I want you to look for there. Maybe you'd even be willing to help me? I know that Molly Library is here within the city of Molly somewhere. I mean, I should be able to find it. I can do this. She's going to get lost. 
Have fun. Let's get this Zygarde. Sweet. What's happening now? Professor! Who? Oh my goodness, golly gee! It's Oak's brother. You feel nice and comfy in that Pokedex of yours. Never bother! Oh, well, hello there. Good to meet you. I'm Oak. Samson Oak. I'm a Pokemon researcher, and I'm looking into the regional variants found around here. And you must be Michael, huh? Young Kukui mentioned you to me. Rotom, you should. You be sure to help this fine young boy on his trip around the islands, alright? You don't you think you're talking to? Of course I'm doing that. And you, Michael, I'll be trusting you to keep Rotom safe as well. The young fellow from Kalos who helped invent that Pokedex put a lot of work into it. And as much love and care as any parent. I'll be in the Molly Library if you ever need me. Feel free to stop by and chat anytime. If you're having trouble finding the library, just follow the Black Brick Road. Meaning the patterns on these paths, of course. Black Circle, Black Triangle, Black Square. Follow that pattern and it'll get you there. Well, okay. This place appears to like puzzles. Black circle. Oh, an apparel shop. What do you have for me to purchase? Alright. Man, the t-shirt options are very limited. I feel like I haven't seen another... I've seen very little t-shirts. Cut off jeans? Camo cargo shorts? These are all terrible! Mm. I'm fine with the shoes. The bag? Triangular backpacks? Street cap. Oops. Wrong button. Trilby hat? No way are we doing that. Looks street cap thunderbolt. I mean, that one looks all right. Scaly? Fruit? Okay, that looks stupid. Seeking? Oh, that's, is that a Pukumuku hat? Okay, that one's kind of cute. Doesn't really match the colors though. Um. Hmm. I suppose I'll go with this one. It matches the rest of my outfit. Alrighty. Oh, I have the ability to take it off. Oh, we're not doing that. I like the hat. All right. Had to go to a fitting room to change my hat. All right. Looks like I'm going to the library. Is this the... What is this place? This is the haircut place. Don't need another haircut. You all do the same thing. Okay, those buildings I can't go into. Apparel shop. Oops, go around. That's a decoration building. And that's an empty lot. And I found the library. That was not hard at all. <laughs> Michael, I'm sorry, I ended up getting lost yet again. You're you're here. I went around completely completely lost until I ducked into the apparel shop. 
And then I saw this outfit and they said it was the last one they had in stock, so I bought it. Even though I don't think I'd ever have the guts to wear an outfit like it. <laughs> but the woman working- Oh hey, there's that Munsdale girl. The woman working at the store did tell me where to find the library. So I guess you could say it was all for the best. But the library was actually right past the apparel store if I just kept going. Michael, been a while, friend. Looks like your island child is coming along favorably. Must be pleasing to the tapu. So, Michael, who might this be? Oh, uh, hello. My name is Lily. My apologies if Mudsdale spooked you just now. Doesn't seem like you're a trial goer. What are you up to? Oh, I'm actually I'm studying the tapu's ruins for various reasons of my own. Well, that's some fine initiative. I'd be happy to show you the way whenever you'd like to go. My Mudsdale here is as sturdy as all get out. She can easily carry two. Thank you for your offer. Huge horse. <laughs> is she gonna be like the final kahuna or something like that? She's very important. Should I check out the Molly Library first though since we're here? Cool. The book that I'm looking for is a very old one. It's a book that contains old myths and legends that Professor Burnett told me about. Those tales seem to suggest that Alola's legendary Pokemon came from another world. Hmm. Suppose I should probably follow her upstairs. Unless you want to give me free things! can't use fly to fly around here. Yes, it is. And how do folks know On Charizard. Right now on special Charizard that have been raised for the job? Sounds weird if you ask me, but I gotta admit that right now. It is a blast. Thank you. Oh! Well, now we know how the HMs work now. They're TMs now. Thank you. New talking to people would result in good things. Yes. Rise the influence, particular region, physical aspect. If you've caught one of the local Persians, I'd quite like to see it. All right, sure. They're lulling me out in the garden at night, so I just had to level one up, which would be a pain. But I suppose he'll give me money. Must be a very valuable book, so I'm not sure I'll be I'll be able to take it out of the library. Who is this girl? This is a trial captain, I know it. Is this what you're looking for, princess? Give it a read. Oh, uh, uh of course. Stupid thing will not stand up straight. Well, it's titled, The Light of Alola. I'll just, um, read it aloud, shall I? The empty sky broke asunder, a hole appearing where had been none. A single beast appeared from it. It was called the beast that devours the sun. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that. The king of Alola bowed before it, the beast that shone so like the sun. The island guardians fought against it, but in the end, the beast had won. Then did the beast that devours the sun shine its light on the line of kings. Then did the beast that had won bring nature's gift to bless all things. Beast of sun and beast of moon, through their union they brought new life. A fragile heir in Alola born that island guardians would keep from strife. The ancient kings sang their thanks for Solgaleo with song of flute. Two tones rang out across the altar, a perfect pair even after mute. Whoa. Isn't it great? My dad's books are all great. What? I mean, yes, it is. But when you say your father, isn't this book very old? Yeah, it belonged to my dad. I know I don't look it, but my family used to be pretty much royalty. 
I had to have all my dad's books moved here so they didn't get ruined by the Pokemon. I can tell you lots of other old stories about Alola too. You interested? Asarola. Well, that would be wonderful. I would be delighted if you did. But I think I'll stay here. But I know why you've come to Ula Ula. You'll be undergoing another trial, won't you, Michael? Good luck with it. I read that Ula Ula Island's electric type trial can only be reached by the bus on Route 10. Alright then. Then, I suppose Route 10 is the next stop, but for now, I think it is time that we end the episode, considering I've been going for over 30 minutes. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, answer the comment question, and that is all I have for now. So, until next time, Pokefans, go to catch them all!